Hi guys, welcome to this new Let's Play of the Movies. Game by Lionhead. You are now owned by Microsoft. And churn out Fable games for the 360. I need to turn this down so you can hear me. Um that'd be alright. So yeah, I haven't played this for a while, but I kind of wanted to do another Let's Play alongside The Sims 3 one, so I thought I'd try this. I thought this would be a nice thing to do. Right. So yeah, let's get started I guess. A new game. I'm thinking... naming it after my machine my friend <laughs> uh, who is called well the actual production name rather than his name clever box pictures I just need to find a picture that actually works for that um Ooh, there's a box. <laughs> it doesn't look very clever. Uh, uh. Oh, okay. I'll go for that gift box. Yeah. Cool, what is she doing? Do I want to skip the tutorial? I know how to play the game, but... Eh, uh, keep it, why not? Yes, this is new. I need to remember the controls. Welcome to the dawn of the movie industry. Do I want to sit through this? The year is 1920, and your new studio's success lies in your hands. Yeah, why not? You must guide it to greatness. You must create the biggest movies and employ the most famous stars as you strive to reach the summit of the studio charts and reap the rewards of victory. First, build a thriving studio. Hire wannabes and nurture them into your stars. Make the movies that'll get the big bucks rolling in, and clean up at the awards. Then, with every award you win, with every success you enjoy, your studio's reputation will grow. Soon, stars from rival companies will flock to your studio, and you'll unlock new technologies, scenes, and sets to make your movies better than ever. So what are you waiting for? You've got a suitcase full of cash and a world of possibilities before you. Now get out there and start making your dreams come true. Because in the movie industry, anything is possible. Welcome to your new movie studio. Right. The music in this game is so good. I love it. <laughs> and the radio stations and the DJ. So yes, this is our studio in Los Angeles. I believe at some point the Hollywood sign appears. Obviously this is 1920, so I don't think it existed. I'm worried that the music's too loud. But I really don't know. Uh, well, we'll see. First episodes never go well with audio with me in a way. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, before you open the studio, you'd better set up some of the essentials. Indeed. The first building you'll need is a stage school for hiring your stars. Left click on the sparkling build menu button. I love the way she says stars. It's like so American. It's like stars. Magic. That's it. Now left click on the sparkling facilities branch and then select the stage school building. I want to make my road. I always do a big road going up and then like left and right and stuff. 
don't want to just place it down you anywhere. You can place the stage school anywhere by left clicking at the desired location. Go ahead, give it a try. The Not first no. building. That's it. I'm going to ignore now, you. Now left click on the sparkling facilities branch and then select the stage school building. Ah. Oh, I did nothing. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll connect this path around if my computer doesn't freeze. Uh, and that way, I've got a good base of where I want things to be. There'll be a road there. Uh, do I want... No, we'll make that road as well. And then... One, two, three, four... Five. I'd say five is enough for a road. But There we go. Right, cool. Now I'll place this building down. Stage school. You can place the stage school anywhere by left clicking at the desired location. Um, go ahead, give it a try. Great. There we go. To build the stage school, you'll need to hire a builder at the mm. staff office by the studio gates. You there. Now click and hold down. Now hire them. Follow great. Why are they appearing Builders not there? Builders perform any building and maintenance duties automatically, so you can leave fantastic. <gasps> While the stage school is being built, you, you can use this time to sort out the rest of the buildings you'll need. Yes. Before that, no, I'm going to... No! That's the wrong thing. Do that. That's the one I wanted. Okay, now build a casting office. You'll need this for assigning stars to your movies. Just follow the sparkles on the build menu. You can rotate at the building by holding down the left mouse button and moving the mouse around in a circle. Hmm. Try this now. Ooh, here we go. You don't actually get that much room, really, do you? Um. It's, uh... Uh, we're not on the other side. Okay, now build a casting office. No, you you'll need no. this for Shut assigning up. stars to your movies. Stars. Just follow the sparkles on the build menu. Sparkles. I want to copy the other side, you see. Most people probably don't do this. Most people probably just place things down everywhere and get on with it. But me being me, I have to make it look pretty. <laughs> this could be a very long, long, long. You can rotate play. a building by holding down the left mouse button. Yes, you've already told me before. And moving the mouse around in a circle. Try this now. That sound effect is awesome. Very awesome. Let's put it in line with that. It's just about okay. There. Great. Now build a crew facility. Go, go. Every movie needs a crew to operate the filming equipment. See, they have different styles. That one's more orange and I guess Mediterranean or so. So I'm gonna see this over here. Okay, you'll also need a set. Left click on the sets icon, no. then select no. the stage set. I 
I don't think we'll actually get around to making a movie in this episode. Not that I really plan to, in a way. I mean... Well, I mean, like, in terms of this Let's Play, I don't think I'm actually going to make the movies myself. Like, you know, write them. Because that would take forever. But we'll rather play it as a studio simulation manager thingy. Instead. Oh, very nice. I love like, all the little animations that people do as well, like you find them like leaning against a tree or whatever, looking into a building, I think it's kind of cool. I'm going to have to join that up because this is me. <laughs> um, I would do all the grass, but from what I remember the grass is pretty expensive. Oh well. Uh, my right, stage. Oh, it's a rather ugly one, isn't it? So I'm thinking, a nice boulevard going up here. And then, like, these roads going up and then round. But I need to leave enough, leave enough space, because some buildings and sets are pretty big. So I might make the road... I don't know. I think for now... I'm just going to have this out over here somewhere. I don't really care if it's on the path, because once I learn how to have different sets, I really don't think I'm going to use this one that much. I don't think. Finally, build a production office. Oh. You'll need this to release your movie. I oh, see this one has a, a parking space, so I need to put a road onto it. I don't have to, but I want to, so it looks nice. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Now you've got all the buildings you need for your movie, hmm. you can look at improving the studio environment. Environment. One of the keys to running a successful studio is making sure your staff can easily find their way around. Try placing down some paths. I have already done so. Click on the landscaping button, then select the sparkling path icon. Lay a path by left clicking and dragging out the shape on the ground. Try linking up the flashing connection points on your buildings. I really wish I'd build that one because then I can know what I'm doing with it. Are you done building that yet? Cool. Oh, I can drag them, can't I? You will do as you're told. One of the keys to running a successful studio is making I've sure already your staff can some easily find there. their way around. Try placing down some paths. All my buildings are connected. Oh yeah. I'll speed it up, can't I? Very nice. No, come back. Okay, right now I know what I'm doing. Click on the landscaping yes. button, then select the sparkling path icon. Lay a path yes. by left clicking and dragging out the shape on the ground. Try linking up the flashing connection points on your buildings. I want a path there, but I don't. Click on the layer path by left clicking and dragging out the shape on the ground. Try linking up the flashing connection points hmm. on your buildings. They already are connected. Why do you lie to me, Liz? Okay. 
Part of me wants to make a little car park, <laughs> which is pointless because you don't need one, but I want it to look like a real studio. Not that I actually know what a real studio looks like. Uh, so I am tempted to build a little, little, uh, little car park here. And then bring that out a bit. I need to bring that road out. So the road can be there. A bit of nice bit of greenery there so people can sit down and enjoy themselves. So one, two, three, four, five. Done this all wrong. It looks stupid. <laughs> what I should have done is this. Lay a path yes. by left clicking and dragging out the shape on the ground. Try linking up the flashing connection points on your buildings. Is make this the car park here. One, two, three, four. That way it's all in front of that building. Because I was going to do it over here, which looks stupid. And if needs be, I can always get rid of this later on or convert it into a... Click on the landscaping button. Shut up! select the sparkling path icon. Convert it into a... Uh, place where stars have their own... Trailer. What not. So what are you telling me to do? Because all if my you things. you want to move on from laying paths, click here. Yes, I do. Thank you. The more buildings you connect together, the more efficient your studio will be. There is litter. Cool. Okay, that'll do for now. Remember to lay down more paths as the studio expands. Yep. Another important factor of having a great studio is to make sure your staff have a nice working environment. Try placing down some ornaments. Indeed. Uh... Okay, now place some ornaments around the studio. Left click to place an ornament and right click to get rid of the one you're holding. Try to use a range of different ornaments, as variety is the best way to keep the studio lot looking attractive. Yes. Uh. Okay, time to move on. Well, Remember to place down more ornaments as the studio excellent. The studio is now ready. Carry on improving things if you wish, and when you're ready, you can open the studio. Very nice. Lovely. Let's get a bench over here somewhere. Cool. Well, that's not in the middle. <laughs> Are you ready to open the studio? Oh, not really. I guess I am though. Yeah, okay. Sure. Go. Congratulations! The studio is officially open. Look at them run.
The mumbles are okay. so weird. Time to make your first movie. You won't get far without an actor and a director. So select a couple of appropriate wannabes at the stage school. He's got some good experience in action and horror. But he stresses easily. Gets bored easily. Likes to eat. And he likes alcohol. That sounds like a whole lot of trouble. But, As some of you will know, I used you to know. be a theater actor. All the tales I could tell you. <laughs> He's got good experience. I'm going to risk it. Hire a person by dropping them in the create actor room. Or t now you just need a director. Hmm. Bear in mind that a director won't appear in front of the camera. So their skills and character are more important than their appearance. I want somebody else who's good in action. Because he is. Well, he's he's alright in that horror. Oh, I'll choose, I'll choose her. I think. Where am I going? Director. That's it. Okay, time to move on. Now everyone knows a great movie starts with a great script. Luckily, you've just acquired one. Yay. It's by the studio gates. Hover over. Time to get this movie started. Left click and hold to pick up the script. I do like these icon things. They look nice. I like them. Follow the stream to the casting office where you can get your new stars to rehearse the script. Okay, your movie now needs a cast and a director. Let's start by assigning your new director. Ugh. Huh? Huh? The stars have now started rehearsing the script. This will help boost the final quality of the movie. <laughs> now hire some crew members to manage all the equipment. They all have the same experience, don't they? That they do. You'll need to hire another crew. Great. Available crew will fill any required crew positions, so you don't need to assign them. Look at the movie to see how rehearsal is progressing. Speed up. Alright. Rehearsal of the script has finished. It's time to shoot your movie. Place your movie is now shooting. Go to the stage set to follow its progress. From what I remember, this tutorial movie is always the same. The stars and crew you selected will assemble so... at the set, ready for shooting to begin. This will probably suck. Check what everyone is doing by looking at the cast and crew information bubble on the movie. The first scene is now being shot. You can see the... How ridiculous. I can't change anything other than background. But the background doesn't really matter, I don't think. So yeah, sure, whatever. The overall movie progress in the movie's information bubbles. Scenes that are still to be shot are displayed in the movie's shooting schedule bubble. Each scene shows which set it will be shot on. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Keep trying to press the one and throw two buttons and stuff to change the speed, but it doesn't do that. And I think you can only press the button, which is really irritating. Oh, what are they doing? Yeah, I don't think I can actually change any of these things because normally you can change like how they act and whatnot, but. I don't think you can on this one. Okay, now you can continue to follow the movie's progress. In preparation for your next movie, build the new set that has become available. This will help to keep the public interested in your movies. Ooh! I went out with my old theater friend, See? Ralph. Massive. He reminded me of the time we both had some brandy and nearly forgot our lines. <laughs> Great days. <laughs> oh, I like the DJs. They're funny. 
Okay, while the movie is shooting, it's worth looking after the rest of the studio. Look around the studio for information icons and the corresponding tips. So I'm thinking of having like palm trees when I eventually get them all down the middle. Make it all nice. And then have like a, uh, a thing in the middle here, like a big fountain or statue or something. As a roundabout sort of thing. None of that really matters, but you know. ready for release at the production office. This will probably look awful. <laughs> Yay! Almost one star. I think the weird text up here is because I am playing it in widescreen when technically the game's not that be a it's not supposed to be able to play in widescreen. So that might be why that's messed up. Oh well. Let's watch it. Oh good god. So random. Good God. Eight thousand dollars and took five months. Okay. Fresh and adventurous approach to making movies. Blah blah blah. Mark Smart doesn't have the experience to carry off comedies like this. I don't think anyone could save that movie, to be honest. Cool. Excellent. Your first movie has been released. Releasing a movie has given you some recognition, and you're now listed in the official industry charts. Cool. I think that's the end of this first episode. It's gone quick. I feel like I've achieved nothing. But oh well. Um, so the next episode should be up tomorrow, probably. So, yeah, so I'll see you then when we will we'll continue to make this awesome studio and release another movie, probably. So, yeah. This is the movies. I'll see you tomorrow.